Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian Free Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe right now. And also go to the notification bell icon. Click it and sell it all. So if you drop a new banger, a new exclusive video, you definitely be notified. Well, yes guys, we are back. I know it's been a while, but uh, you know, we definitely have to give you guys the new uh, Jesus in town. And you know that I've missed talking about, you know, boxing. Yeah, there's been a lot of news I could have talked about, but uh don't have really have the time like that. But we, we will get back. We're back. back. Don't worry, guys. Stay tuned uh, for more BBC contents. So, let's get straight to it. Ajagba FA, the silent roller. Now known as the silent roller Ajagba. Uh, silent roller compared to the one and only. The one and only was a scary name. Uh, I still remember how you knocked that guy out. You know, he chased it. <laughs> that guy out of the ring in within 15 seconds or so. And the guy, the guy got scared of the one and only. Anyways, the silent roller, there has to be a reason behind that new name. I think he just want to start afresh. And looking at his haircut right now, you can't even tell if he's a Jaguar or not. It looks like a different person. The only reason you would think that Jack is because of his physique he's still very much in shape he's never had a shape anyway so he's going against Zhang Kozobuski August 26th bro this is a very this is a scary fight right here why would a Jack take this fight he's a scary fight Zhang Kozobuski is undefeated in 90 pro fights we know Zhang Kozobuski is from Kazakhstan he he did beat our one of our brothers the Godzilla uh another day what i mean uh like he did beat him that was in 2021 he stopped him in the fourth round i remember prior to that fight had a big win a huge win in nigeria and was in high spirits uh finally he didn't uh didn't uh get the win zanko Buski since beating another day man has beaten joy daweko he knocked joy daweko out in the second round do you know do you think Johnny Daweko might be like let's say a Johnny Man? However, if you look at uh how he gave um the hardship he gave to um Charles Martin, like you can literally tell that the guy is a tough guy, he's a tough cookie, you know. Um but Zhang Kozobuski knocked him out. It was a brutal stoppage. He knocked out Alexis Garcia in the fifth round stopped Yohan Duapas in the fifth round knocked out Usain Mohammed in the third round this guy has KO written listen he's knocked every opponent out but one we know Zangos Buski you know Kazakhstan people are very strong you know I think Golovkin is also from there he's gonna give a verge by hell in fact this is a 50 fifth right here but I believe the one and only can't know the planet roller now but well, yeah, i still remember the one of the the silent roller can get his job done uh Tajagwe, what do you make of this fight right here zan kozobuski ajagba risky fight for ajagba bro and i have to say i'm proud of ajagba for taking this fight because a lot of people wouldn't take it what do you, what do you make of this fight, bro? you know i was surprised when uh fa when i heard the rumors or or if it, when I first heard the rumors, I was like, yeah, that doesn't sound true because I heard uh, Jared Anderson was actually going to fight this guy. But then um, when F.A. Jagba announced it, I was, I was extremely surprised because now I'm like, oh, man, this is going to be a good, this is going to be a good matchup for um, F.A. Jagba. F.A. Jagba, his last fight, I personally think he's, he looked good. You know, even though it was against a nobody, I, I personally think he looked good when it comes to his skill set, throwing better combinations, and, you know, trying to set up traps. He's actually been working on that, you could tell, in his last fight. But what I, what he needs to continue doing is he's got he to gotta keep that guard up. For some reason, he picked up some new skills and basically forgot his guard, you know, and that 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 could be a problem for him if he if he doesn't work on that 
in the next com- in the upcoming months against Zan, who who is who is technically I think is a technically sound fighter. His fundamentals is there. He's not he's not lacking anything. I think he will give he will give um, um, FA FA problems when it comes to technicality and and you know uh, watching his opponents uh, opponents every uh, every uh, every one of his opponents uh, movement and basically calculate what they're gonna do. But at the same time, FA can actually take advantage of what Zan is doing because Zan at at the same time he's 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 really slow and it's very slow to react to certain things especially when get punched that's when uh, fa job could actually you know take advantage of that and can work on his comp well not work on his combination uh, you know unleash, unleash a barrage of good combinations and you know maybe go work on the body which is i i, I would like him to do against zan you know but this is going to be a good very good matchup for both of them you know, do I see F.A. Jabba winning? Yes, absolutely. I think F.A. Jabba could win this fight. You know, can I see can I see Zan upsetting F.A. Jabba? There's a possibility of that being there if F.A. Jabba doesn't go in there and, you know, and, and properly, you know, make sure he's, his guard is up. You know, these guys from Kazakhstan, they're extremely strong. And I can tell you, uh, Kazan uh, Kozabuski is a strong guy. You know, he's not going to go down with any punches. So I think he should... He should know what he's doing. Uh, he shouldn't rush it. He should, you know, work on his combinations up until the sixth round, and when he starts unleashing some big, heavy, heavy right hands, you know. But make sure his guard is tight, because in his last fight, his guard he, he forgot he forgot his guard for some reason, you know. And, and you know he's gonna pay for it. Eventually, you don't wanna you don't wanna have your chin be exposed, and you know you get hurt later. You get hurt in the round while you're you know while you're doing good. This is going to be a good fight. I'm excited for it. One thing about and, um, Zan. Yeah. Sorry, bro. Sorry to interrupt. Can you continue? No worries. No worries. Go ahead. Continue. I think one thing about Zan Kuzbuz is that I haven't seen him. Like, he hasn't been tested before. The chin. I mean, the chin has not been tested before. But you can tell he can take a punch. But he's not a scared guy or anything like that. He's a guy that is, is very fundamentally um, good. Um, he's got good boxing fundamentals, you know. His style is very tricky as well. And Ajaba might have to box very smart in this fight. You know? Because I don't think he should. I I, I know he can go to the toe anybody, but I don't think he should. Zanko Zbuski can take a punch. And he hits very hard. Very hard. This guy, uh, this guy has yeah, a, 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 an iron hand, you know? <laughs> No, I, I agree with you. I totally agree with you. You know, but um, I what 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 makes F.A. Jago different? Because don't forget he he's fought Frank Sanchez. You know, I think Frank Sanchez is uh is as better than Zan, and you know this would be like a little workout, not a little workout, basically like you know, an upgrade or, or or how would I say like, you know, basically he'll be fighting. The similarity of Frank Sanchez, but you know, just somebody who's a bit slower, you know, because these guys are both southpaw, you know, Frank and um, Zan. So I think if, hopefully FA Jagba has not, you know, forgotten what that feels like to fight somebody like uh, a southpaw, you know. But I, I, I honestly believe, you know, um, I honestly believe Frank Sanchez is better. And the way the way FA Jagba worked against Frank Sanchez was not bad, but I think he's actually, like I said, he's actually improved to where I believe, as long as he keeps that guard tight and you know those combinations, you know, and and and, and does what his coach tell him, I think FA Jagba should come out with a good win or even a knockout, man. But I'm I'm excited for this fight. This is going to be a very very good fight. Yeah, bro. Um, it's gonna be a very good fight. Let's go on here at Diwali to give his take. At Diwali, what do you make of this fight right here? Zhang Kozbuski and of course FA Ajaba. Ajaba going against a dangerous guy right here. A 50 50 fight. What does our brother need to do to win this fight? And how does he approach this fight? Because Zhang Kozbuski, Zhang Kozbuski, being from Kazakhstan, those guys are tough like a mofo, bro. Those guys. 
Well, I think they're Mongols, you know? Mongols are not to joke with it. What do you make of this fire right here, bro? Wait, but bro, are we saying people from Kazakhstan are tough because of Gennady Golovkin, Triple G? No, no, not that. But their history, uh, you no, know, says that. Like, their history, if you read their, if you read their history, you will understand that those guys are descendants of Mongols, bro. A lot of them are descendants of Mongols. Those guys are tough motherfuckers. I tell you right now. But bro, do they have skills? Skills. Zankos mostly has skills. But you cannot compare like to the Vasily Lomachenko or the Usyk guy type. But they are very strong. Hmm. They can take a punch. They hit very hard. Zanko Guzobowski has... I don't know if you've watched him, but he has great boxing fundamentals. Okay? He might not have the slick head movement that you need, you know, like you want to see in a fighter. But he does have great boxing uh, fundamentals. And he's a dangerous guy. This guy stopped Joey Daweko in the second round. Joey Daweko, I, I don't know, man, who who's stopped him in the second round. But I don't know who stopped... That, we're talking about the guy that gave Joshua... I mean, that, that was rumored to have knocked Joshua out in the, in the, in the sparring prior to the original fight, first fight. Bro, this is crazy right here. What do you make of this fight? Right? Honestly? Bro, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me, bro? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, so in my opinion, I just feel like uh, um, I, I don't really rate Kozoboski. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but I've never watched him fight. I have heard of his name one time. I think he's affiliated to Top Rank. He might be signed to Top Rank. That's why I heard his name. I have, I, I have watched his fight. That's what I'm telling you right now. I've watched his fight. Who is right? This is what I'm telling you right now. I, if I haven't watched his fight, I will tell you who is this guy. He is not popular, but you know his name. Come that day, I'm telling you. I'm okay, let, telling let you right now. You, what round? What round did he stop? Do do how pass? Johan do how pass? In the fifth round. Fifth round do how pass? He stopped him in his corner, yeah. Because the only the only notable names on this record is do how pass, in my opinion. Not even Duwe, Duwe, Joey Doweko. Boom, by the way, it's like. Bro, Five foot ten, so you overweight of, guy. You, you don't know of Camille Sokolowski? <laughs> I, I don't know Camille. He might bro. be. He I might be know. a Johnny. He might be a Johnny man, Samuel Sokolowski. But the guy is tough as hell. Bro, Camille has seventeen losses, bro. Nine we, wins, seventeen we, losses. We know, but how many people have knocked him out? Four people out of twenty-eight losses. Four. Nah, my brother. I can't give. I can't give Kobolowski, Kosobowski any credit for defeating Sokolowski. No. What's wrong with all these Sokolowski names, bro? <laughs> because they are Slavic, you know? So what do you mean by that? Man, it's, no worries. What, what, is wrong, what is wrong with your names? What is wrong with your names, bro? bro <laughs> what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> they are Slavic people, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, no disrespect to my Slavic people. I know these people are extremely tough. Um, We've seen them time after time, especially those ones that come from um, this part of Russia, Chechnya, is that Slavic also? No, Chechnya are not Slavic. They are not. It's not okay. But I, no, I mean, Chechnyan people are tough. Uh, I give th them those that. are Chechnya Dagestani. <laughs> you know, those are not Slavic. Beterbiev, yeah, Otto Beterbiev. That that is a real powerful, strong animal. Those are those are those are Turkey, Turkey. But they're not Slavic. Yeah, they are Turkey by origin, but not Slavic. But I'll tell you what, man, this Slavic guy. Bro, this Slavic guy, Zan Kosbutski, is going to get his face punched in by Ife Jagba. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. This man is 34 years old. He's six foot three. He might be he's lucky he's been fighting those that level of competition that he's been fighting. That's why he hasn't really been tested. <laughs> Listen, bro. Ife Jagba has fought a real world class if fighter. Jagba, in listen, Frank Sanchez. I haven't, I haven't watched Zan Kosobuski. If Ajagba does not prepare properly uh for this fight uh jabba will, will, will have the biggest shock in the, of his life he must prepare for this fight as a like a war title a war title fight i'm telling you right now but you see that they don't i mean see. No, i mean the best advice that any fighter can take is you need to be prepared to the maximum level for each fight that you're going into especially because if someone punches you on the wrong side of your head 
you might never fully recover. So you need to learn how to protect yourself while you're in that ring and take it very seriously. And I expect Efe Ajagba to be at that level of professionality that he will be fully prepared against Kosobutsky. So me personally, just because I am a little bit ignorant on Kosobutsky's record, I will just say that I can't rate him too high. And I know that sounds a little bit weird, but the truth is most great fighters are usually popular. But sometimes you find out that you're from a world region where you might be a great fighter, but even though you're a great fighter, but the fact that you're from a certain world region, it makes it impossible for you to be popular. That is aside. One thing that I would also consider is that Kazakhstan isn't known for creating great fighters. Their best fighter out of Kazakhstan is Triple G. Triple G is a great fighter, no doubt. But Triple G too, I mean, there are so many things in his career that you can pick, you can criticize. Triple G wasn't the perfect guy. He refused to fight many guys. There was a time Triple G had three belts. And the guy with the last belt, for some reason, that fight never happened. I'm not going to only blame that last guy with the belt. I will put some blame on Triple G because he is the popular fighter. He is the A-side. He should have made those fights happen. And then he eventually was waiting for the Canelo trilogy. And that made him look really bad. He ended up having two fights in between. One against Deverchenko that I think he lost. He had another weak comp um, fight against um, even Danny Jacobs, bro. He wasn't looking dominant against Danny Jacobs. So in my opinion, I don't really rate Kazakhstani fighters. Triple G might be the reason why people rate Kazakhstani fighters. I haven't seen enough from them. So I believe Ife Ajagba, having but, trained in the United States you, for so you, long. You rate Dagestani Chechen fighters. In the UFC. Ah, man, those, those ones are killers, bro. Those ones, so, they don't so. need skills. All they need is themselves. They have the heart. <laughs> All right, bro. Well, your opinion. <laughs> that is guys, bro. Those you guys really? are like animals, bro. Those guys train with bears. They train with like bears. They train with like wild animals. They train with all... those guys are weird, man. People from Chechnya, they are strong. They are those. Those are strong people. And don't get it wrong, Chechnya people, you're gonna get in the ring one day yeah, with my Nigerian they guys, strong. and they will knock you out. They are strong, yet the Slavic still control them. So what are you nah, saying I mean, right here? It is. It is. Uh, yeah, that, 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 that's a different political it, side. It doesn't things. matter. I'm about it, yeah, the, but they are still under the Slavic. <laughs> you know, this is what I'm saying. Like, the Slavic are so strong. It doesn't mean they are pussies or anything like that. Because it doesn't mean, oh, because they have weapons. Or Slavic are strong as well. Of course, Chechnyans are, are tougher. For sure, they are more tough. If it, if, if it was a combat, if it was a combat, if, if there was no weapons and... Everything has to do Physical with combat. combat. I, hand think, hand. I, I think I think Chech, uh, Chechnya and Dagestan will, will, be, will be the Slavic. I think they yes. will win. They will win. Yeah, those guys are good. They know how to fight. They, and let's let's give um, United States of America credit. US produces some of the best talents in the entire world. Boxing. United States of America has something about it that generates very, very good fighters. Great fighters. And for that reason, yeah, yeah. I feel like how, how if they are Jagba... How many U.S. fighters are, are, are champions in the UFC? In the boxing UFC? Is, boxing is different. Boxing nah, is, I don't boxing know about is, UFC. Is UFC is new, you know. Mixed he's, martial arts is a little new, bit but, new. But he's, he's an American company, but yet, who dominates the, that place? Foreigners. Warriors. I mean, just people wait until the Americans... People, wait people, until people, Americans people. realize... When Amer listen, bro. Once Americans realize that they can make millions of dollars from competing in the UFC, yeah. trust me, you're going to see a higher concentration of you, trainers, you might, you might, you might, you might fighters say, um, jumping into MMA. Well, it's one of those things. Uh, just see what happens. Um, I think this fight is with Duty Fire. And I, it's gonna be interesting to see who wins this fight. So, guys, you ready for our brothers at Diwali and of course Tar Jack Way State for my Sumbara will definitely give you one extra banger before we vamos. God bless you.